Good luck, Jack. Um, Any words of advice? Of for advice? Kind of advice. For, uh, for Jack here. Um... No. <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no, I don't know. Alright. Is this for what? Yeah, this is where Jack got like the constant reading. Yeah, there's nothing going on anywhere. But he was getting constant readings. Yeah, whatever trail Jack had is gone. That's interesting, because we've had the EMF signals been moving around like yeah. all day. And it's like never in the same spot. I am curious to see what happens if we bring an EMF or something into the gym. Jack went in there and said it was a dead zone. Really? Yeah. We could try it again because things seem to be moving. Yeah. My only thing is like, this because all the mirrors, the whole idea of like vortexes. I wonder if we get anything in here. Cause like, holy shit. It's a lot of. This level's a dead zone, dude. That's interesting. Basements got like nothing so far. Usually the basements are always like the. That's where everything's at. Sketchy like shit, but... Did you say this was rain? Like waves, right? Oh, yeah. Except for some, I was like, dude, they something's sound like wrong, shit. static or something, but then... I thought it was a door or something for a second. Well, yeah, it sounds like just waves or something. Um... Nothing? I've got something for a second. Uh, huh. But it like only went up to the second grade, so. Okay. Yeah, like it's just weird because it seems to be never in the same spot twice. It's like a carpet painting somewhere up there, right? Seriously? It's like made out of like stitching. Yeah, let's get some like lobby shit in here and wake up, right? Hmm? Everything keeps moving. Okay, so uh, it's my challenge right now. Um, my challenge is to uh, sort of investigate the room here in uh, total darkness using some of our equipment. Uh, and I'm only allowed to use night vision. So I'm going to go ahead and switch all the lights off real quick and then uh, we'll get started. So, uh, obviously, you can't see me, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and fix that. There we go. Okay, so I also forgot to mention, um, I'm supposed to be trying to make, uh, I'm supposed to try to make contact here with, uh, with Molly. So, there's gonna be a bit of a struggle here, because I gotta get the equipment going in the darkness here using uh, night vision. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what we got here on the bed. So, um, Okay, let's set up some cap balls. Um, let's do one right by the leg of the uh, dresser here. Let's go ahead and push it on. And we're gonna do one by this leg over here. And then we do have these flashlights here. Now it's a little hard to distinguish colors in the dark here. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the flashlight for just a moment. Okay, so we got the red one and the blue one. I'm gonna just set this down just for a moment. Um, oh, that's nice. Okay, so the trick here is you gotta um, twist it to a point where the connection is just hardly made here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch back to night vision. 
Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, EMF here. Uh, it was given a folder. Oh, this might be it right here. The EMF. Perfect. I wanted to place this on the bench, maybe next to the uh, REM pod. So I figure any activity on the REM pod would possibly reflect on the uh, EMF here. I'm just going to go ahead and place this just over here on the bench. So you can see one light is uh, on and then obviously any activity will uh, spike more lights. Okay, so now for the scarier part, uh, this, uh, this little device here. Let's switch on the flashlight again here. There's power. Turn it down a little bit. Whoa. Okay. This was like uh old. Oh, so Do you think you could walk up to the EMF sitting on the ledge and touch it and make it spike? If there's anybody here? Can you please go ahead and touch that and make it spike? Try to put some energy into that and it should light up. That way we'll know you're here. Let's go to red. You put a little more energy in. It'll light up to the red. Oh, it went to orange. Orange. Do you think just one last attempt? It would be very appreciated. No. It's okay. Thank you. Oh my god, she like walked away. Is Molly McGuire in this room? The spirit of Molly McGuire with me right now. Is there a spirit in this room with me right now? One of these just like flipped on for a split second. I didn't see which one though. Well, let's see what that one is. A red one. Okay, I'm gonna distinguish these real quick if there is a spirit in this room. Blue will mean yes, red will mean no. Is there a spirit present in this room with me right now? So that's the no. Which is kind of freaking me out. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off just for a moment. And, um, we're gonna... That just sounded like it almost said Molly right at the end there before I flicked it off, but we'll come back to that. Um, EMF, I... Whoa. Actually, hold on. 
we are getting we were just getting a couple of uh, flicks on there I'm not sure if you can see that um, If there is a spirit in this room, could you please activate one of the several devices in this room? Interesting. If there is a spirit in this room, could you please activate a flashlight or a cat ball on the floor? Okay. Okay, so again, that's a no. Um, the EMF is continuing to um, spike a little bit. Is the spirit in this room peaceful? No. Okay. Is the spirit in this room messing with me? Okay, EMF. Oh, no, you are not messing with me. No, I'm not gonna lie. I am getting a little uh, freaked out right now. It's currently uh, 5:45 in the morning. We are getting a little bit of daylight through the curtains, but not a lot. EMF has kind of gone static at this point. I am gonna turn this back on to see if there's any. Uh, Possible communication. Report. Sound like I just heard Aztec. Okay, EMF is just spiking, there it goes. Okay, I will say, we're not getting too much uh, vocal opinion on that. It tends to be a little more physical with the objects in the room. I'm going to go ahead and try that REM pod once more, and just see if I can get that working. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and crop you up here and see if I can uh, sort this out like a big boy. <clears throat> so, supposedly, according to the folklore here, uh, Molly McGuire obviously was uh, murdered by a window uh, by a uh, soldier. So that's why I have these two set up next to the window here. So I feel like yes and no is sort of out of the question right now. It seems as though it's just trying to communicate through one flashlight. Um, let's go ahead and just try this once more. Is there a spirit in the room with me? say it's a little difficult for me to decipher what's being said there uh, but again nothing too vocal it's just a lot of uh, static here um, <clears throat> could you please try to reactivate the flashlight could you please turn off the flashlight I just got a really odd feeling over there. Um, could the spirit please turn the flashlight back on? Oh my god. Could you please turn the flashlight off? Oh, 
or could we get both flashlights on, please? Could you please turn this flashlight on? Or could you please interact with a REM pod or the other device in the corner? Could you please turn off the flashlight if it is the, if it is the only device you can interact with? I'm going to go ahead and assume, yeah, that uh, certain objects in this room are a little easier to manipulate than others. Could you please turn on the flashlight if you mean to cause any harm? That's great. Could you please turn off the flashlight if you are a demon? Could you please turn on the red flashlight? Could you please turn off the red flashlight? Is it possible for you to move the entire flashlight? I'm not gonna lie, it looks like that one just rocked a little bit. I could be mistaken. Let's take the red pod. Perfect. Could you turn on both flashlights if they are the only devices you can interact with? stuff? Lots. Lots? I'm just gonna pass through. I'll just turn this on for a second. Jesus. Well, I didn't exactly have a uh, productive conversation here, but I've determined that this uh, spirit in the room is uh, evil. That's what happened to me last time. I had Molly for a bit and then something else was coming through. Like yeah, it was trying to claim to be Molly at one point, but okay, then I think yeah. it, it switched its decision. Um, and it's it's only interacting with the flashlights and nothing else. The EMF when it was on the bench because I had moved it uh, was spiking over there. Okay. And then I moved it closer and I haven't received anything since, but it's just been flashlights. Okay. Maybe we can try to. My bad. And the voice box didn't exactly provide any anything really. It was there was almost uh, no dialogue at all. The EMF just went up to level 2 for a sec. You want to ask it a question? Is the same spirit from before still in the room? Are there any spirits in the room with us right now? Try Estes. Oh, so that's that? no. No. Maybe it's not a spirit. Is it something demonic? Okay, so this is yeah. Because I'd asked if there was. You're getting something bad, mimicking Molly. Is the demon still in the room with me? Did you make something else light up? If there is something demonic in here, turn that off. Could you set up, set off a different device, or turn the blue flashlight on if you're something demonic or malevolent? That's interesting. Right on cue again. Okay. No, this thing's been pretty responsive. Like... I'll ask you this: Do you like that we're here? No. That's interesting. It's answering those. Yeah. Have we decided which is yes and which is no? Red is no blues, yes. And the one that just went off is no. Okay. Are we welcome in this room? No. 
Are we safe in here? That's a strong I'm gonna no. take a second aside. That's okay. All right. Please light up one of the flashlights if we are. Uh, I don't know. What I'm if you're planning to hurt us, okay. It it kind of is like it knows what we're trying to say. I just bump into that if it looks shifted after the lampshade. Okay, can you turn that off? That's interesting, Doug. Are you able to light the REM pod up? The device with the antenna there? Or one of these other devices? Are you able to turn one of those on? Maybe roll one of the balls on the floor? Or touch the device with the red light in the antenna? Did you make one of those go off? EMF spike here? Yeah, I saw that. Make a very small one. It's like, so it looks like it moved over towards me. Could you light up this cat ball right here in front of me? The one that I'm pointing at? It got cold here. Or if the flashlights are easier, we'll go back to the yes no questions. I'll ask you, if we don't leave now, are you planning to physically I didn't even get to answer the, or say the whole thing, but it says no. Okay, are we keep, in? Uh, are we in harm's way? No turns off if it goes over to yes. Oh, it came up as no again. Are we speaking with a new spirit? Yes, just flickered. Then no. Are there multiple entities or spirits in the room? ask when it did both? Are we talking to something different? Yeah. Yes, no, so I was trying to say maybe. If that was a maybe, could you light up one of the flashlights? That's funny how we're getting a lot of demonic shit tonight. And as soon as we hear that, Keegan's like, fuck this. He's out of there. Do you want to maybe try to move the cat balls a little bit closer to you? Yeah, maybe. Put this, like, here or something. Maybe we can increase the sense of on that, too. Let's get this a little closer together. And also, none of this equipment, like, affects any of the other. Yeah. Are we currently talking with Molly? Yes. Molly, do you remember me from when I came here a few years ago and stayed in this room to investigate? My name is Dan. No. Does this entity, entity want to remain unknown? No. Okay. So... Okay, so I'm saying no. Okay, we're gonna try to guess who you are, and you can let us know if we're correct or not. Once again, we'll ask, are we speaking with Claire? No. Yes? Well. <clears throat> Just to, okay, let's turn those off for one second and we're just gonna have to confirm. Yep. Okay. Is this Claire from the gazebo earlier tonight that we're talking with? Is this something or somebody we talked to at the gazebo earlier tonight? No. Okay. Are you from the hotel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I just went to like the yellow one or something. Okay. 
Yeah, are you somebody from the hotel? No. Is this Lucas? Oh my god. Yeah, I spoke her. No? Whoa, there's a lot happening right there. Holy yeah. shit. Okay. Is this a deceased relative of one of ours? No. Okay. How about... Are you able to turn off that red flashlight so we could ask another one? Thank you. Because that's kind of two questions. Is this somebody who we haven't talked to yet tonight? Yes. So this is somebody new. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Alright, let's try to figure out who this is then. We'll uh, go through the same yes or no kind of thing with uh, what we did with Zebo. Alright, we'll turn off last. Perfect. Is this a human spirit? No. Is this a demonic spirit? If you don't know what the SS method is, it's with the uh, spirit box. Basically, it's a device that you can speak through and we'll be able to hear you. If you turn on the red flashlight, we could try to do that and see if we get anything a little more accurate. That way you'll be able to um, speak to us rather than us just having to guess. That was my camera. That battery just drained. For real? It's dead. I just switched that right before it went out.